right, so we're going to look over the abdominal region and the connective tissue and the muscles uh, in that area. Here we have the brief overview of the abdominal region with the rectus sheath all right here. You have the linea alba here and you have the tendinosis intersections and you have the linea semilunares and you have the external oblique that covers all right here that uh, inserts into the rectus sheath you have the rectus abdominis then right underneath the external oblique you have the internal uh, oblique and then right underneath that is the transverse abdominal uh, all right. <clears throat> One thing important to note with the external oblique is that it inserts uh, into the linea alba and the pubic crest, as you can see to the picture out here on the left and over here on the right. That as it connects with that aponeurosis, it does indeed insert onto the linea alba. <laughs> <clears throat> and the inguinal ligament, the inferior portion of the aponeurosis of the external oblique forms the inguinal ligament as you can see here. It comes right in and connects and, uh, into that inguinal ligament. <clears throat> then here you can see the different layers of the rectus sheath. You have the posterior uh, wall of the upper rectus sheath and the anterior wall of the up, upper rectus sheath with the accurate line over here and the uh, transversal uh, fascia over here. Then with here you have the interior aspect of the anterior abdominal wall and as labeled is the lateral umbilical ligament uh, with the medial umbilical ligament and the median umbilical uh, ligament <laughs> with the umbilicus labeled here and the round ligament of the liver here and the flaciform ligament and that uh, about does it, and those are the sources and links that were used with the pictures. Uh, thank you, and I hope you were able to learn.